jump, you were bad news. Eating on my time, leave my mind in the woods, but now you see the face under the red hood. And you cry, now you cry, yeah, you cry, yeah, you cry, whoa. Since my previous video of Marcus and Maria Love History from the TV show Tetley Class has been deleted, I wanted to take a different approach sharing their history with you. Just a quick note, I'll focus only on the relationship as I normally do, this means I won't be diving into specific details from the overall plot, but there'll be some spoilers. He's cute! After Marcus is recruited to attend King Dominius, he is immediately approached by Maria, who offers him to join the Satoatos, the affiliation she belongs to. She presents the idea as the better option to survive in the school, but doesn't wait any time making her real intentions clear. I'm Maria. You can run with Satoatos. It'll make it easier for me to get to know you. It's in this moment that we met Chico, Maria's boyfriend. Marcus is not impressed with the way he treats Maria, and when he stood up to defend her, he lands himself in Chico's bad list. Look, I know you're crazy or whatever, but you shouldn't mess with him. You shouldn't be such an asshole. It's complicated. Girls always go for heads. Guys always go for girls they can't have. Why'd you come back? I, I, uh, I needed a place to hide. I think you need a better reason. Think of any? Later, we see Marcus run into Maria, he spots what seemed like a bruise, possibly inflicted by Chico, and fooled by his emotions and desire to protect, he goes on to confront him, only to discover later that it was all part of Maria's well thought out plan. What happened to your black guy? Makeup. That's why you pretended to like me, so I'd fight your boyfriend. I tricked you. But I wasn't pretending. I, I have enough problems. The episode wraps up with Marcus and Maria together, but it seems like Marcus' interest is elsewhere. Episode 2 has few moments between Marcus and Maria, but one that stuck out with me was Maria saving Marcus first after they were poisoned in class. In episodes 3 and 4, we don't really see Marcus and Maria together, instead they continue to develop other relationships that are important to their history. That's why I wanted to take a moment to mention them briefly since I think they are going to be important to understand the action of the characters in the following episodes. We have significant moments between Maria and Chico, which lead us to understand that Maria is trapped in a toxic relationship from which she desperately seeks to get out but doesn't know how. Marcus seems to have feelings for Saya, or at least certain attraction that has played an important role in his decisions since the beginning of the series. They have shared a kiss, and more importantly, Marcus trusts her, sharing his secrets with her, something he hasn't done with Maria at this point. For her part, even when Saya sees Marcus as a mission and seems to want nothing to do with him, she definitely feels the connection too, at the beginning using it as an advantage to get closer to him, but now it seems like her feelings are growing more sincerely. The friendship between Maria and Saya is one of the main focus of episode 3. This is where we can to appreciate the great connection they have and how much they value this relationship, as well as how much they try to protect each other. And even while the two of them has spoke openly about Marcus, neither has admitted to have any real feelings for him. Well, now Chico will be at when he finds out she snuck away. Back in episode 5, several important moments take place as the group goes on a road trip to Las Vegas, deciding it's the perfect time to have some fun. But Marcus will take it too far, spiraling into a panic attack that will lead him to be alone with Maria. Hey, you're tripping, everything melts. It's fine. It's okay. My soul is gone. It's here, as Maria tries to soothe him, that Marcus discovered that Maria's plan for the trip is to run away. Have you ever loved someone who mistreated you? 
No matter what the price to your soul. Yes. Can you identify with that? As she explained her reasons, they realize that the two of them share a tragic past. This makes them connect on a deeper level, and things start to heat up. However, they are quickly interrupted as Chico finds them. The confrontation with Chico isn't pretty, and Maria, in her desperation to save Marcus' life, makes an extreme decision. The episode ends with them kissing in the back of the car on their way back, but it seems far from a happy ending. We are now in episode 6, and we learn that a month has passed since the end of Chico at the hands of Maria. During this time, Marcus and Maria have been in a secret relationship, but Marcus feels apprehensive about this turn of events. Um, Our anniversary. I'm supposed to get you something? You're not supposed to do anything. I'm new at this. You really don't have a clue what we do. No, but I am going to be taught. Marcus tried to make things right with her, as he feels indebted to her for saving his life. But this doesn't prevent things from spiraling out of control, since Maria's struggles are bigger than what he believes. Maybe you're jealous. I knew she would let the arrow hit you. Same as I knew she would try to steal you. Still me! What the hell is wrong with you? Despite making peace at the end of the episode, their problems remain unresolved. As evident in these following episodes, the lies, secrets, and misunderstandings are going to shape their interactions as they try to make their relationship work. What is it? Someone killed one of my crew last night. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt a quality moment with you and my friend. <laughs> Be happy. I took care of our problem. Use your head. The deal of Maria. But after dealing with Maria's reckless actions and surviving the school interrogation, by the end of this episode, they seem to be in a better place. If you love someone enough to die for them, then you surely will. I keep waiting for you to apologize. I, I wasn't sure you could handle it. And Zaya could? I trust you. I just, I don't want to be alone tonight. Stay with me. Of course. This is a crucial moment in their history. Maria decides to trust Marcus, putting aside her insecurities. However, Marcus is feeling overwhelmed and chooses to break his promise and spend the night with Saya. And is here in the last episode after they manage to survive their enemies and Saya take herself out of the picture that we see Marcus and Maria finally having a long due conversation. All I ever did was love you. I never asked for that. I shouldn't have let myself care. You were alone too. I thought you'd see. I was. I did. Lies, I was desperate to believe. Always knew I can't count on anyone but myself. I'm so sorry what I did. I don't know what's wrong with me. It all just started to feel like an, an obligation. An obligation? I didn't mean you were an obligation. Yes, you did. And you're right. I've been tied up my entire life. So I made you my new rope. But I'm done with that. You're free. Sai and I, we never planned it. I, I messed up, but it didn't make me see it. I. I do love you, Maria. After all we've been through, can you just do me one small courtesy? Stop lying. Sadly, the series was cancelled after his first season, leaving Marcus and Maria history unfinished. 
However, in the comics, Marcus and Maria end up married and having two kids. What do you think will have been the perfect ending for Marcus and Maria in the TV show?